Alternative energy is a hot topic here in Iowa. That's because 20% of its electricity comes from wind power. In addition, Iowa is number two in wind energy production. Texas is number one. When it comes to resources, Texas Governor Rick Perry is not picking favorites. What a great day it will be when we have allowed our oil and gas, our energy industry, and all the segments of it, whether it's the nuclear side, the coal side, the ethanol side, the wind, the solar, I don't care. Wind turbines are manufactured here in Newton, Iowa at TPI Composites. The company conducts research, development, and manufacturing at other locations, including Rhode Island. Former Senator Rick Santorum has embraced wind and just about every other energy source. My feeling is I have no problem with wind power. I just don't think we should be subsidizing it. I think the market should work the way it should work. And that goes for oil, that goes for gas, that goes for ethanol, wind, solar. Uh, we, should be, uh, we should not be picking winners and losers in the energy sector. Four months ago, presidential candidates came here to sign a wind turbine manufactured at the TPI plant behind me. It was their pledge to advance wind as an alternative energy source. Congresswoman Michelle Bachman did not sign the pledge. In addition, she has promised voters here that she will shut down the Environmental Protection Agency and use oil, coal, and natural gas to their fullest potential. We are the number one energy resource rich nation in the world. The problem is the federal government has put our energy resources off limits. I will unlock that, legalize that, and we'll make energy one of the greatest job creators in our country. Perry has echoed Bachman's message to use energy to create jobs. American-based energy is the answer to one of our big issues, and that's getting Americans to work. Candidates Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich have also said that they embrace the GOP's all-of-the-above energy mantra. For Channel 3 News, I'm Liz Montequilla in Newton, Iowa.